chapter 4. Esther chapter 4. Esther chapter 4, verse 13 to 14. Esther chapter 4, verse 13 to 14. Nani ya kuwapo? Kwa tusome? Nani ya kuwapo tusome? Esther chapter 4, verse 13, the Bible says, Then Mordecai, or Mordecai commanded to answer Esther, Think not with thyself that thou shalt escape in the king's house more than all the Jews. Verse 14, For if thou altogether holdest thy peace at this time, then shall their enlargement and deliverance arise to the Jews from another place. But thou and thy father's house shall be destroyed. And who knoweth whether thou art come to the kingdom for such a time as this? So Esther chapter 13 verse 14 it says, His uh, son Mordecai, Anatoa reply kwa, anapeleka reply kwa Esther, anamwambia, he sent, he sent his, medhogadhaniwa po chini, cha nifungue baibu yangu. Angalia jirani yako mwambia, welcome to the church. Mwangalia tena. Mulize unangalia nani? Uh, Esther, Esther. So Esther chapter 13 verse 4, Esther chapter 4 verse 13 to 14 it says, Then Mordecai commanded to answer Esther, Think not with thyself, Thy thou shalt, thy thou shalt escape in the king's house more than all the Jews. Verse fourteen. For if thou altogether holdest thy peace at this time, then shall their enlargement and deliverance arise to the Jews from another place. But thou and thy father's house shall be shall be destroyed. And who knows? Who knoweth? Whether thou art comes to the kingdom for such a time as such as this. Dear God, I come before you to over God that as I give God to your word, let someone be encouraged to over God. That I talk up at Jehovah God, I pray that may you take their burdens. I pray to over God that may you make it, may you make them light as feather God. Even as I give out your word, Jehovah God, I pray that may your grace be my portion in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So my title this evening is A Time Such As This. Tell your friend, A Time Such As This. So before I, I start speaking, I would like to give a, an essay about who Esther was, who Esther was there, who Esther is, and who Esther atakuwa nani in the future. Praise God. So we see that in the first chapter, we see that it's when Trapatana uh, with the king. This king was called King Success. King Success, I'm a King Success. So this king was called King Success, and he had a queen, and the queen was called Queen Vashti. You see, this Queen Vashti, uh, uh, King, king, king Success, only reigned 127 provinces, only reigned across the Ethiopia, like Ujaivi. So King, king Success, Alkwasha, I may hold banquet. Yeah, you hold the banquet in Nepal. My king wanna come one on my gold, my silver. So, up and yo unapata you eh, unapata. I can hold your banquet. Akaita, akaita queen. Sasa wakati alikuwa me hold your banquet. Akape akilam say wine. Men and women, men were were under the the influence of wine. The other side, even his wife, Queen Vashti, alikuwa me hold banquet. Yeah, yeah, you are No na. So after I may hold banquet, Badu pale kio ako banquet akaita. The king himself akaita queen wake akamwambi akuje. But you know what? The queen did not come because alikuwa me alikuwa me king 
when the king huwa anaitia ma wives wake akuja onyeshane the beauty of her queen so wakati queen vashti alisikia ni hivyo akakata akasema aje go and tell the king that i am not coming by saying that he dishonored the king himself praise god you know by dishonoring the queen the king himself wale ma cabinet secretaries wanakuanga hapo the under the king eh wakaona this is a dishonor to the king akambiaje king king the queen akifanya hivi itakuwa mabibi zetu our wives watatu wata, they will look down upon us so akatoa akasema a uh, atolewe afanywe banishment so the queen himself was banished from the king's throne praise god so after that we change a scene that we find a we find a girl we find tunapata mwanamke a little girl that was named Esther so Esther was an orphan girl alikuwa was being she was being taken care of by her uncle that is Mordecai so Mordecai after after the queen wa, was banished from the throne akasikia all the virgins they are being gathered so akakumbuka kona msichana wake pale anaitwa Esther so akaambia Esther ai aende pale labda inaweza kuwa laki yake so akaenda pale so by going there akapata favor with the king himself akapata the favor akakuwa the queen akakuwa the queen of there so my you know through the esther himself through the through esther herself alisaidia the jews through esther herself alisaidia the alisaidia mordecai praise god so after being the queen tunaenda tunapata chapter 3 Pali Haman ana ana plot to destroy Mordecai uh, the Jews sorry the Jews so Mode unapata Haman so Haman Haman alitokea wapi Haman alikuwa prime minister praise god Haman alikuwa prime minister so the king himself alimpatia hiyo cheo so Haman hii kisirani ya Jews and Haman ilitokea pale kwa Mordecai wakati Mordecai alikataa ku serve ku bow down to the to Haman Mordecai Haman akakasirika hapo ndio kisirania Haman na majusi ikaingililia praise god so aka Haman akaandika akaandika decree akaambia akaenda akaandia akaenda akaambia king and the decree that if anyone hapo hapo tunaona hapa chapter chapter 3 verse so chapter 3 verse 8 so Haman told the king There's a certain race of people scattered all over your empire and found in every province they observe customs that are not like those of any other people moreover they do not obey the laws of the empire so it is not in your best interest to tolerate them in your, if, if it please your majesty issue a decree that they are to be put to death if you do i guarantee that i will be able to put more than 340000 kilograms of silver into the royal treasury for the administration of the empire So after Shamba Shamba ya king hivyo king na yaka sign praise god after Shamba sign ndio hiyo decree ka make to the each and every province so messages walipe, wali walitumiwa ku deliver those message kwa the each and every province so after Shamba deliver Mordecai akasikia hivyo akaanza kutetemeka sasa hii ni chapter 4 wakati Mordecai ana ask for Esther's help so after Mordecai ashasikia hivyo akakimbilia akaenda kwa Esther akambia Esther eh Esther majus watawawa so if you remember bado kwa kwa kitabu ya Esther eh the someone he told her that if you ka ka uta if you're not summoned by the king you should not come by the presence of the king hope you kuja kwa king so Esther alikuwa pale anatetemeka juu hako amesamonio by the king so how is he enda pale kuona the king praise god so alikuwa pale alienda after Mordecai ashampatia message nani eh, Esther karudisha karudisha reply ya kwanza Mordecai akakata kujibu akarudisha aka pili ndio tunaona hapa anamwambia ndio Mordecai anamwambia in the chapter chapter 14 that hapo vile tumeona eh, if you keep quiet at time like 
time like this, help will come from heaven to the Jews and they will be saved, but you will die and your father's family will come to an end. Yet who knows, maybe it was a time like this, you are made for the queen. So my message comes at times such as this. You know, in each every season and each every time, there must be a response. So this was the season and this was a time for Esther to reply to the message of Mordecai. Praise God. So I've come to tell and mekuja kuambia that kuna season na kuna time kwa life yako. Lazima ukue na response kwa kila, kwa kila, kwa kila swali. Praise God. So I want to give you examples of people who were kept at time as they lived. First of all, I want to say David. David, David, uh, David aliyekuwa kwa time yake ndiyo kuja a save the Israelites from the Amalekites. Unaona pale Samuel anaambiwa ende ende anoint anoint the the king. First of all aka anoint watoto wa Jesse wa kwanza akaona ai Mungu ndio huyu sasa venye alikuwa kibazu. So lakini God akasema mi huwa siangalia the appearance I look at the heart. So tell your neighbor that God does not look at the appearance. God hangali unene wako, ukonde wako, he looks at the heart. Mibu uko pale ume, umekonda, but God anajo you can serve somewhere. Praise God. God anajo you can give victory to some people. Praise God. So this time I've come to tell you that usikuwe na fear, usi, usike pale unaliati. God is doing it. God knows your time. When your time reaches, he, he atako introduce for your enemies. When your time reaches, wale wako wana kujua, wata kujua. Praise God. When your time reaches, favor shall speak to you. Praise God. So when you're there, I plead, uh, now I plead sana that when your time comes, watu wengi sana. So uh, David, David alisaidia, time yake ilifika ya kupatiana victory to the, over the Amalekites. Praise God. Another example is Joseph. Joseph, ukiangalia story yake huwa inanichanganisha kiasi. Like, you favor Joseph alikuwa na yu ilikuwa too strong. Unapata mse kwa brother kama brother wangu you am the first born uh, unapata ma brothers wangu wanaamua kunitupa kwa shimo wanaamua kunisel moja anasema a a tusimue tumuze but you know what in those times of confusion in those that the time that enemies they try to bring you down god ana huwa na kuona praise god in those times in those times of silence, God who wana kuwapo, it does not matter trials zile unapitia, it does not matter zile vitu unapitia, God sees everything, praise God. So, pale Joseph ameuzwa, aliuzwa for certain time, for certain money of silver. So, akiuzwa, akenda pale prison. Akio pale prison, God anaona. Naona? Through Akiopale prison, God come to me, akwe the prime minister, yeah, akwe the prime minister of the food, you know. So, upon Kajifunza key to that, <clears throat> that when God, uh, that in the moment of silence of God, God sees everything. Ukiopale kwa confusion, God anana kila kitu, praise God. So, usike pale, atumefinya, atiauna do, atiauna kitu ya kumanga, God sees everything. And I say, Ma, my child, wait for your time. I will glorify you before men. Wait for your time. I will uplift you beyond human limitation. Praise God. So this time, Joseph, wakati akiwa pale, akafanyua boss because of interpreting the dreams. Praise God. Another example, example is uh, Moses. Moses. Moses, kiona pale Moses. The story of Moses, eh, uh, anakuanga alireziwa alireziwa kwa kwa drone ya wale watu walikuwa nataka kuwa watoto watoto vijana na unapata time yake wakati ilifika god alimchukua na kamfanya ili a save a save watu from tribulation a save watu from hizo mashida this evening i've come to tell you that god will use you to save people out of their tribulation praise god i've come to tell you that god will use you to help people wapande, wa increase. God atakutumia, we increase watu. God atakutumia, usaidia wale watu wakona mashida. Praise God. Mibu kwa hapa, na destiny yako ni 
kusaidia uh, destiny yako ni ya wa, ni ya watu wa children's home destiny yako ni ya watu wa kusaidia watu and this evening i pray that may god grant you your desires in the mighty name of jesus so moses ali ali grow up ali grow up akiwa kwa ile throne so time yake wakati ilifika ilifika asaidie the israelites from their tribulation wasikuwe the wasikuwe kwa ile prison alikuwa wasikuwe kwa ile bondage So may God use you to move people to remove people from their bondage. May God use you to deliver people from slavery. Praise God. So another another example was was Daniel. Yeah, the last example was Daniel. So Daniel so history of Daniel in Akutia Pali tunapata kwa kitabu yake Daniel was the same as Joseph but there is a difference between Joseph and Daniel praise god so who Daniel Daniel even so what distinguishes Joseph and Daniel is that Daniel hakuzwa na brothers wake that was you know in a distinguish Daniel from Joseph so Daniel Daniel was a ni mtu alikuwa anapenda kuomba sana was a prayerful man So who Daniel akopale wakiona ma, marafiki wake kina Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego king wa your time alikuwa amechonga ma idols unaona ma idols so who Daniel na marafiki wake walikata worship those idols walisema wanasimama na Mungu wao wanasimama na Jehovah Jireh wanasimama na Jehovah Shama praise god so in those times God alikuwa anaona can, can 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 you trust me can you can you can you serve me even in the even in the presence of influence wakati walikuwa na influence wa worship wa worship the idols can you serve me so daniel daniel aliyeko kwa hiyo time ndio aonyeshane kuna mungu praise god daniel aliyeko kwa hiyo time aonyeshane kuna mungu may god use you to show his presence in the mighty name of jesus so Daniel tunaona Daniel Daniel alitumika kusaidia watu kuonyeshana kuna Mungu katika hii katika hiyo ulimwengu. Hiyo example inatokea wapi in the wakati adirushwa in the den of lions in the den of lions. So akirushwa pale in the den of lions. God God atuma angels wake. Akituma angels wake aka shout aka shout mdomo za the lion so unapata the king even himself hakuwa lafiti akakam akakam take it take akakuja kuangalia the den of lions akapata nani aja 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 umwa aka make a decree that the god whom daniel worships the god whom daniel worships ndio tutaabudu milele na milele praise god so aduki kwa pale the den of lions yeah So aduki pale the den of lions. Ukiyoko pale kwa tribulation. Eh? Ukiyoko pale watu watu wanakutafuta. Unajua Daniel, Daniel ile kitu alifanywa arusho kwa hiyo den of lions. Watu walimjaribu kumtafutia makosa. Wale mtafutia makosa, wale mtafutia makosa. Hakupata makosa. Ndio wakaamua acha tumrushe to the den to sijui kuna makosa fulani alifaa, sijui ni nini, sijui ni chuki ndo akarusha to the den of lions so i pray that may god wale watu wanatafuta makosa kwako wasipate katika jina la Yesu wale watu wanatafuta kukuleta chini wasi wasi wasijaribu kukuleta chini praise god so ukiyo pale even you are even ukiyo peke yako may god use you to glorify his name may god use you to uplift his name in the mighty name of jesus so daniel daniel alitumika kuleta jina la Mungu kwa wazi praise god so i want you to give you the last but not the least example was jesus praise god so who jesus story of jesus you nibamba sana so who jesus god alipeana jesus through a man alipeana jesus through a man you know when god wants to use you he must use a man to to do something for him ukiona nimepeana examples za watu wengi David Moses 
So God has jionyeshana, lazima jionyeshane akitumia watu wengine. May God use you. Praise God. May God use you in the mighty name of Jesus. So Jesus, Jesus ali come through a man. Huyu man alikuwa tunaona ni Joseph, ani alikuwa ni tunaona babake. Joseph. Oh, Joseph the carpenter na Mary. So Jesus was used to bring the salvation to humankind. Praise God. <clears throat> so Jesus alitumika. So through Jesus salvation ndio tulipata. Through Jesus ndio maana uko hapa. Through Jesus ndio maana una breathe. Through Jesus ndio maana una kulanga kila siku. Through Jesus ndio maana huo unakuwa na shelter. Praise God. So this evening I've come to encourage someone that if God used the men in the Bible. Kwa nini Mungu asikutumie? Kwa nini Mungu asitumie kuku ku, uh, kwa nini Mungu asikutumie uinue jina lake? Kwa nini Mungu asikutumie upeana victory? Kwa nini Mungu asikutumie kutoa watu kwa mashida? Praise God. So ukiwa pale join that God can use you. It does not matter how you appear. You know what surprises me in the book of in the book of first Samuel is that wakati Samuel alienda anoint anoint the the king pale hivyo so Samuel wakati wakati aliona brothers wa ule wa kwanza ule firstborn wa David appearance yake even ilikuwa akona ah huyu jamaa ametosha kuwa king but God akasema zi wakati David wakati wakati ali anoint the other brothers of David akauliza uko na mtoto mwingine akaambiwa yes anaitwa David ako pale ana analisha mangombe makondo so wakati akasema mkimbilieni so akakimbiliwa wakati karibu ingie kwa kwa mlango yao mafuta ikaanza kuchemka mafuta ikaanza kuchemka so Samuel ndio akajua this is the appointed king so it does not matter your appearances let me repeat this it does not matter your appearances it does not matter how you look so kama Mungu amenitumia ku preach ku preach sai in this ministry nikiwa mdogo hivi kwani Mungu asikutu praise god uliza jirani wako kwani Mungu asikutumie ni pesa babu wa <laughs> message ni tamu so in this a time such as this you know when when your time reaches God lazima akwa asha ku trust na kitu fulani. Unaona? So ili Devi eh, ili ili inaitwa nani? Ili Jesus acha example ya Jesus. Ili Jesus atumike. Kuna kitu Mungu aliona lazima apeane into this human kind that it can change the salvation of men. Ili Mungu akutumie, he must trust you with something. Praise God. So I come to uh, nilikuja to learn that no ni ile position uko ile position uko saa hii ili Mungu akupatie hiyo position lazima ameko, lazima kuwa ameku trust na kitu ndogo for example eh if I, let me give myself an example so in order god to give me an opportunity like this lazima kuwa ameni trust can you are you are you capable of giving this word are you what are your motives motives zako ni gani can your motive glorify my name can your motive make my kingdom come so when god uses you he must see something out of you he must see ayani he must see something in of you ili god akutumie lazima one kitu iko ndani yako ndio maana ili ukwe a mother to someone god trust you god who ana ku trust na responsibilities Unaweza leo huyu mtoto vizuri. Unaweza mpea chakula ama atateseka. Ili kuwe mzai wa mse. Sorry to say that. Ili kuwe baba wa mtu. God lazima ameku trust. Unaweza unaweza provide chakula. Unaweza 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 lipa unaweza school fees. Unaweza lipa school fees. So if in order God to, to in order God to give you your time, God trusts you. God who wanna could trust. And and the most important thing is that in order god to use you in order god to use you for your time who anaangalia your heart your heart matters so your must your heart must be clean so that god can use you so 
my brothers, my sisters, my mom, and my dad have come to tell you that when your time reaches, vitu zile zite happen, zita happen. Praise God. So, I, ble, uh, I glorify God because I'm in Tumia for a katuhu, ku preach, and I'm in, I'm in a patia at times such as this, kujo kuokuni, kuskiza neno lake, no na. So, so, ukiwa pale, just hold on. Shikilia mungu vene na mshikilia. Press on with this life. So, if kauko anda unapitizo mashida, tribulation, unakosa, unasa chakula, una, unashindwa mungu, uneza nitumia. God sees everything. No? Even in those moments that you are so down, God uses you. You know, God who wanna go jate miyake ifike. Eh? When you are patient, God uses you to extreme position. Praise God. So be patient so that God so that God can use you for your